Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about meteorites and find out if a meteorite that has just fallen to Earth is actually hot. So will a meteorite be hot when it reaches Earth? And the answer is actually no. Now you may be surprised by that because you'd think going through the atmosphere and seeing things like shooting stars, we would see material that was very hot when it strikes Earth. I mean, could that cause a forest fire or a grass fire if it hit in a very dry area? And it actually will not. Actually, a meteorite will still be cold when it reaches Earth. And we've seen many meteorites that have recently been found that will have frost on them because they are so cold. Now we have to remember this the objects have been in space for a very long time so they are extremely cold. We're talking just a few degrees above absolute zero the minimum temperature that you could possibly reach. Now they do heat up when they come into the atmosphere but only the outer layers will heat up. So they heat up and rock really doesn't con conduct heat all that well. So the heat in the interior will stay very, very cold while the exterior will get very hot. And we'll see that glowing in the sky, which we see as a meteor as it streaks across the sky. But those layers flake off pretty easily. So the some of the material on the meteorite will have been lost on its journey through the atmosphere, but the interior will still be extremely cold when it lands on Earth. Now, when you look at a meteor, so if you actually imagine seeing a meteor when they've reached the ground and we see one like this that has been then cut and polished, then the interior is still very much the original interior that was left behind when it formed billions of years ago. So going through the atmosphere does not affect any of that and does not heat up the meteorite meteorite to any significant amount. Now we have to remember that when this happens, the outer layers do heat to thousands of degrees, but it's a very short time. And if we watch an example of one of those coming through here, we will see that the meteorite will come through. Let's go ahead and play that. As the meteorite comes through, it gets very bright and it will get even brighter for a few seconds here. And then it very quickly disappears and it's gone. So pretty much it is faded. It's just that little bit of a trip through the atmosphere. It will eventually reach a terminal velocity pretty much and then just be falling through the atmosphere, not really heating up anymore. So while the outer layers will have heated up to thousands of degrees for a very short period of time, most of that material just flakes away as it comes through and the inner layers themselves will remain extremely cold. So let's go ahead and finish up here as we do with our summary. And what we've looked at first of all is that a meteorite will not be hot when it lands on Earth. The outer layers do heat up briefly, but the interior remains very cold. So the interior will stay cold while the exterior heats up and flakes out and the rock material does not conduct heat very well. So you don't get heat transferred from the exterior to the interior of the meteorite. So that concludes this misconception in astronomy on meteorites being hot when they land on Earth. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.